good day, my good people out there. I am Fala Hankoyelekon. Today, I am discussing the lion and the jewel, written by Ole Soyinka. I've earlier introduced you to this text in my previous videos, and today I am discussing the new, the new session. That means that I've discussed the introduction and the morning session, as we know that the effect in the text takes place in a day. Let's move ahead. No, this thing takes place on a road by the market. CD is in a happy mood because of her pictures in the magazine. Luckily follows, carrying a bundle of firewood that belongs to CD. Sadiku, the eldest wife of Baruka, enters from the opposite side. You remember, in the morning session, we read about the magazine that is brought by the stranger. We are seeing these pictures is pasted in strategic places of the magazine, and uh, CD feels proud because of this. Let's continue. Sadiku is on the way to CD's house. She then delivers Baroka's message to CD that Bale wants CD as a wife. Luckily, first responds to this by calling Baroka all sorts of names, and then down kisses CD's hand. And show us her with lovely names. Sidi then stops Lakonle from calling her any other name than Sidi, and that she is so beautiful that her pictures are in the magazine. She boasts that she is more beautiful than anybody can tame in the village, including the ballet. That is, uh, we have a team of pride here. Sidi is proud because of the picture at the back of the magazine. Let's continue. Sadiku asks Sidi if she is ready to marry Bale. She explains the life of bliss and Soko that awaits her if she becomes Bale's last wife. Sidi's pictures in the magazines have entered her head. She then asks Sadiku why Baruka did not ask for her aunt in marriage before the stranger came. She believes that Baruka wants to seek new fame by marrying her when she has become more famous than the ballet. Sadiku is shocked by this response from Sidi and she blames Lakunle for the for Sidi's rude and degrading response. Sidi passes so, from some uncomplimentary statements on Baruka and compares her beauty with that of, of the ballet. She turns down the offer of marrying Baruka. Sadiku tells Sidi that if she is not married Baruka, the Bale is inviting her to have a supper with him at his house tonight to honor her for bringing fame to the village with a picture in the magazine. Sidi declines the offer that it is a trick to get her and that it is said that any woman that dines with Baruka in the night becomes his wife or concubine. Lakonle also corroborates it that that is why Baruka is called the fox that he currently for the public work attempts to build the railway line through Illusion Lane. Sadiku tries to debunk the railway issue. Lakonle explains further how a wife Sophia brings in prisoners with two orders to start to work on the railroad. Baruka then comes in Later, with his bribe, he called a gift and a word of pan notes, kula notes, ends, and goats. This brings out one of the characters of Baroka as, 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 as a, 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 a very trick, a tricky person. That he tricks these uh, workers from constructing the red, red line through Illusion Lane. He bribed them. The way Sophia changes his countenance and mind. When he sees the gift, he's ready to dance to the tunes of Baruka, who doesn't want a real road in Eugene. The Sophia's decide that the ray should go the other way and that he has made a mistake. After winning, after whining and dining that followed, the Sophia and his people left in Eugene the village. Luckily, then complains about Baroka's marital life and concludes that. He doesn't pray for such, but to have only city as his only wife.
He does not know when Sidi and Sadi could leave him at the end. Lakolo is trying to condemn the, the, the poly, poly, uh, polygamous nature of Faruka here. That he's now saying that he's sticking to only Sidi, that he will not be like Faruka, that has uh, many wives. We have another scene that takes place in Baruka's room. Let's continue. This scene takes place in Baruka's room. Bale is on the bed in his room with his favorite, that is his favorite wife, called Ailatu, plucking his armpit ear. Baruka complains that the favorite has not mastered how to put the ears in his armpit, and informs her of his decision to take a new wife tonight. As Sadikus enter the room, as Sadiku enters the room, Baruka sends away the favorite wife and asks Sadiku about the response of Sidi. Sadiku tells him that Sidi refused to accept the offer on the grounds that Baruka is too old for her. Sadiku also observes that it is the fame she got from the magazine that enters her head. Baruka springs to his feet and condemns what Sidi said. To prove how strong he is, how he won in the locked tossing miles at the festival of rain, how he hunted leopard and boa at night. He also asked if any of his wives ever complains of failure in his manliness. He then concludes to teach Sidi a lesson about a life. Baruka is saying all this to prove that he is strong, but he is still a strong man. Let's continue. Baruka lies back on the bed and Sadiku takes care of his leg. As a trickster, he thinks of how to go about the situation on the ground. He picks the magazine and compares the pictures. Baruka makes Sadiku trickily believe that his manhood is not working. He knows that Sadiku cannot keep the secret. And once he tells Sidi about it, Sidi will want to mock him by visiting him. Baruka knows that Sadiku is a gossip, that if he hears such a thing, she will inform Sidi and Sidi will come and mock him. Let's continue. He tells Sadiku that it is even better than Sidi did not agree that the embarrassment would have been great because of her failed manhood. He says that he wanted Sidi because he thinks that with a young virgin like her, his manhood would rise. So that is a trick that is being played by Baruka here, just to trap Sidi. Baruka then pretends to confide in Sadiku by telling her that he has not told anybody but Sadiku, and urges her not to tell anybody. When Baruka, Baruka knows that uh, Sidi is a gossip that uh, cannot keep secret, he knows that she's going to tell Sidi, and uh, Sidi who want to come and mock her. Let's meet in the night and see what happens, whether the plan works or not, and what happens eventually. If you have any question on this text, don't hesitate to send your question to the message box and uh, the questions will be attended to. And if you have just joined this channel, try and subscribe to this channel so that uh, you will see any of my videos whenever they are released. And you are free to share this video on any social media. Thank you and God bless.